The round starts with Tanya grinning as she shoots in for a double leg right off the slap bump. She circles to the back, but I get a belt grip, hold the tricep, and kick backwards to hit a pretty sloppy takedown, and if this were an actual competition, that would be two points. I end up in headquarters with her underhooking my leg. She controls my left sleeve, so it makes it difficult to get collar control. She gets a double sleeve grip and goes for a knee lever sweep, aka a John Wayne sweep, but I'm too base down and see it coming. She throws up a lasso, and I'm looking for a cross pant grip with my right hand so I can hit this pass that I saw Tynan Dalper do. You can see it here in this earlier roll with Blue Belt World Champ Laura Lippman. I get the grip on Tanya, but she's smart, so she throws up a spider hook and forces me to the opposite side that I would want to pass to. By the way, here's Tanya on the podium at American National. She's really good. I do this thing where I try to pop off her spider hook with my knee, but we're just in this constant grip fight where she's trying to sweep me and almost manages to get it right here. She's on her side now and places both hooks under my left leg and removes her foot so that she can combat base, which gets her two points for the reversal. She maintains a pant grip and I keep a hold of her foot and post my head on her shoulder so that I can reverse her reversal. She's keeping this pant grip so I can't come up yet, but I close the distance and eventually her grip weakens and I'm able to get the two points. Here I step right into headquarters so I can start knee sliding, and since she opens her half guard, I grip her belt with my bicep, trapping her foot. This puts a lot of torque on the partner's knee, so you have to be very careful with this during training. You can see me here telling her that if there's too much torque on her knee to let me know. I'm backstepping here with my left knee, framing her bottom knee so I can remove my right foot, and I release the knee completely to pass, but she goes belly down. I try to arm drag to get to her back, but she off balances me to her left side as she rolls back to retain half guard. I get my knee inside her hips to start beating the knee shield as I fish for a collar grip, and she was beginning to underhook my leg, but instead moves that hand to block my cross face and collar grip. My sleeve gets pushed up though, so I'm able to get the collar grip and I go for a long step, but my elbow positioning is really bad. Here's me hitting a somewhat better long step pass at Jiu Jitsu World League in Houston this year. I keep a grip on her left leg as I step on her bottom leg to see if I can just step through her guard, but she's not gonna let me do that. I back step and sit on her top leg and block that leg with a cross grip and hop over to the other side. She tries to belly down, but I'm able to secure a pass for three points, I think. I go for a back take, but I have bad knee position on my bottom leg, so she starts to slide out and also blocks that leg with her hand, so I miss the back take and roll through back to top half guard. I have the top leg pant grip and same side collar grip, so I try the long step again and am more successful this time, and she again bellies down to avoid the points, turtles, and then as I try to circle to her back, I don't block her right arm, so she's able to block my hips so that she can roll back and reestablish half guard. I end up with a deep underhook, and then I post my head and hand on the mat with a wide base to begin knee slicing. For some reason, I switch to this low hip back step type pass with a cross face and get lazy with my right hand pushing the knee down instead of using my forearm and framing against her quad to sneak my knee through to three quarter mount. She's able to get inside position and keep my knee out and use a butterfly hook to retain butterfly guard. But I go immediately to a body lock keeping a gable grip on her lower back and I start sprawling with my right hip because I need to beat her hook with my right leg so that I can end up in half guard with the body lock. I switch my left arm to a cross face, swim my head to the opposite side and I rush the pass again by using my hand to push through to three quarter mount. She accepts this and swims under for deep half since I left a lot of space under my hips. She gets a belt grip and immediately tries to come out the front to get on top with the deep half sweep, but I'm too high up sitting on my butt and I post on my right hand as I immediately switch to look for a Kimura grip. I'm fighting here to get my foot out to get to the Kimura T position, but she's hanging on tight so I rock up and down a few times until on this final rock up she opens her feet for a split second and I'm able to step out into the Kimura T position. But she beats my timing and turns into me faster than I'm able to chase the back so I can't get my hooks in and she Granby rolls into a position where I'm sure if I knew how to actually burn Bolo then that's what I would do, but I don't and I didn't. She immediately drags my leg to 50-50 and I start trying to underhook her leg so that she can't lock up a figure four because I'm going to try to stand up here and step out of her guard. She's doing a good job though with keeping me off balance by rocking her hips and doing some good grip fighting until she finally kicks up to a neutral position as I spam a 50-50 ankle lock. I try to insert my hook to block her and look for the back, but she keeps her hip positioning close, which also applies torque to my knee. If I fight this position, I'll end up hurting myself, so I have to turn my torso to the left, which allows her to just barely come up and score two points for the reversal. And that's the end of the round. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.